Yo, it's Elet, and welcome back to my four students only hard mode run of Radiant Dawn. Today we're doing part three, chapter nine, which means we're taking a slight detour for one map to go back to the Crimean Royal Knights. Um, but unlike the last time we saw this crew, we only have one unit, which is Jeffrey, Joffrey. Again, please roast me for saying names weird. Um, I deserve it. Um, but instead of getting Jeffrey and Kieran, we only get Jeffrey. So we're going to do a few things to uh, beef him up a little bit. Um, and you'll see that after doing those things, um, this chapter becomes very consistent, actually, with just him. So we buy Adept from the bargain shop, which is just nice because he doesn't double everything. Um, and then we insta-promote him. One, because we got a Master Crown for free that no one else is going to use. Um, but two, especially with, like, the plus two strength that he just got. Um, it helps with some breakpoints, notably on the boss of this chapter, and this chapter is a defeat boss map. Um, and then the only other thing is we dump inventories for everybody else um, and take skills off that are important, namely the Nile scroll on Khalil and the other Paragon scroll on Astrid. Not really that important, but just so I don't forget later, potentially, I do it now. Okay, so a few things to point out for this chapter. Uh, the essential items that Jeffrey needs for this, assuming that, you know, he's promoted and all that stuff. Um, he needs a short spear, which he got way back when in part two. Um, and the brave lance, which he also got way back when in part two. Um, the brave lance helps him one round things that he's not doubling, and really helps us kill the boss, because it'll take us three hits to kill the boss. Um, these houses will start to burn um, from these guys because they're they're jerks uh, <laughs> essentially um, and we do get some bonus experience for extinguishing the houses we're not going to do all of them uh, it's not required to do all of them I do believe if they all burn down then it is a game over so as long as you save one you won't game over that way um, the only other game over condition would be if Jeffrey dies And then, of course, we have some partner units here. I just kind of let them roam. They don't really do much of anything. It's not really that important. Uh, they, don't, they definitely don't get in the way of what we're trying to do either. So I let them have their fun for a little bit. Okay, and then here, Brave Lance. Helps him double in one round. And of course, a lucky soul or adept can come in pretty clutch. Uh, soul is the mastery skill for paladins, which triples his damage and then also heals him. Um, so that's really good. That helps him sustain himself and not waste turns healing, potentially. Um, and then by having the Brave Lance equipped for that little spot where he ended up, he will one round these sword masters because he doesn't double those either, uh, which will keep him moving. Alright, so we're going to put out the second house. Those are the only two houses we're really going to hit. It's some nice extra bonus XP. Um, it's not super, super important to get, you know, maximum bonus XP every map for this kind of run. Uh, but it's on our way, so we may as well hit it.
Okay, so we're gonna take kind of a risky position here, or at least what looks like a risky position. Um, as long as Jeffrey either dodges a few attacks here, or procs soul, maybe at least once, uh, he's fine. Uh, we parked him there because the boss will attack at 2 range, he has a short spear himself. Um, and then once we hit him with our short spear, we can perfectly kill him with a brave lance. Um, he does like double 14s, I believe. Um, and this is Jeffrey basically at base strength. Um, I think we got one level up in Jeffrey's charge, but we didn't get like any good stats. I think we got like magic and skill or something. So this is essentially base level Jeffrey insta promoted. Um, so it's kind of nice how beautifully the numbers work out on this. So we hit him for 14 there, with the short spear. Again, as long as he dodges some things, and then these last two guys are super weak anyways, or if he procs soul, we're chilling. And then you'll see, uh, once it's our turn again, we're gonna Brave Lance the boss and end the chapter. I mean, double double 14s on a, on a 28, that's poetry to me. So yeah, easy dub. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.